What up, guys? Grubby Jeff here with another raid. Shadow Legends Free to Play No Fear account day 112. Go ahead and collect this book. It's been a bit since we've been in this account. I do admit that. I've been focusing a lot on champion guides, and I'm going to put a lot more effort into champion guides in the coming future just because those long term help more people. Uh, so that's kind of what I wanted to do, anyways. Doing this raid thing is help out more people. So we got that going, and but we're not abandoning this by no means, especially with all these free gifts we're getting now, right? Kind of one of those mixed bags when the server goes down if it goes down hard enough we usually get a little goodies always nice to get goodies right all right let's just pause here for one sec all right plenty of gifts here go ahead and collect that collect that all right let's see what's going on boom 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 buy our little thing here maybe get another one because you know the bucks up now <laughs> go to the shop on that one Appreciation pack, there it is. Let's see if I get anything. I know we should be close to getting that uh, special pack here. I don't know where it is. It says there's a free thing. I guess it just hasn't loaded yet. There it is. That is a heck of a pack. If you haven't jumped on today, which is uh, one day after this, you have four days to get this. So jump on this weekend. Claim your gift, get your three voids, get your legendary, get your chickens, get your million silver. It's just sitting there, chilling, waiting for you. Why did I take the energy? Ah, right, whatever. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, four days on that one. Well, that's right. We got some clan versus clan prizes to get here, too. Ooh, doggy. Very low level stuff, but hey, for us, that's huge. Get a ring. Ooh, Shadowkin ring. Now we just need a Shadowkin champion. It's funny how that all works out. Ooh, ooh. How about something fun? I don't think we played enough to really get anything overly high. Master? That's not bad, though. Four star, we'll just keep it because we don't have much. And just a bunch of Bruce. That was kind of lackluster, I guess. Yeah, we, yeah, okay. I don't want to view the final standings. Let me out. Nobody cares. When you come in 36th place, you don't care about the final standings. All right, so we got three boys. We got three ancients. Yeah, we're going to pop them. That's what we do. Let's see what Plarium gave us first, right? We got three our voids, so this is what our gift is. It is a gear grinder. <clears throat> yeah. Followed up by a... Hollow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Followed up by... Naturally, Paragon. Cool. Thanks. No, those are great. They're great. All right, let's see what we earned now. Plarium's done. Their gift is over with. It's most likely going to be food. Death Channer. What else we got here? Ooh, Purgator. Actually can hit really hard. I think we... Semi built one earlier than A1. Alright. A lot of food today. A lot of food, and that's fine. We need it. We always need it. Alright. Pop, 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 pop. You know, we'll just take that right now because why not? Get some XP. You know what? Let's do that. Let's actually go uh, pop one of these XPs. Then we'll go over here to the battle, and we're going to rock some campaign. We got plenty of energy to get through this. We got people who need lifting, but we're going to pull you two out and we are going to slap in a couple champs here. And then we'll go and put some two two star people in there as well. And then just in case, we'll round it out with a bunch of others. Start this multi battle. I will see you all on the other side of this and we will get to uh, some more fun stuff. Alrighty, done and done. Everything sold. Let's go take a look at our progress here. We also got some masteries that we farmed here. Oh, nice. See, now that's the, ooh, the tough choice for her. You could go Helm Smasher. This one is very rare, the Giant Slayer. I know she has multi-hit on A1A2, but mm, we're just going to go straight up War Master. Makes the most sense for us. Get that extra damage. A little bit higher rate of return. I would love to fill this out for him, but we really want to go again for this one. It's going to be a warm ass. We're going to save up because we're almost there. Ah, 
I mean 125 out, but close enough to wait. Definitely close enough to wait. So we can just sit there, chill, relax. We'll get that soon enough, and then we can really do some nasty damage um, on all the bosses and whatnot, which is kind of what this account needs. It's in that part where it's like, okay, it's time to... Thanks for the useless red dot. Time to start doing the real big smash and the real big hitting and stuff like that. All right. I'll take the bait team. Why not? All purple against three blue and a green. Potentially a really good team. No resist. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe not a bait team. Just a good apothecary, I guess. Probably a good slammer over here in the kale. Hmm. Duke got completely outplayed by Genbo. Although his one turn unkillable, if you build him fast like you're supposed to so you can cycle through it, he never gets to use his unkillable. He always wears it off. You can't extend it, so it's just like, you know, it's kind of tic-tac-y if you build him right. I suppose in higher dungeons, you know, the speeds will catch up and then he'll utilize it. Uses, I guess, I don't know. Not really what you want to say. You don't really want someone to have to lean on the unkillable aspect of their whole kit. Alright. Hey, leech. Get a little health. Top up the health. Alright. Definitely easier teams to be found. Whether they're bots or better algorithms or maybe, I don't know, I've gotten some pages that felt like I was fighting the same couple of teams every few pages. Uh, I don't know if any of you are running into that at all. But I think that's definitely out there. So... Potentially that's something going on. Nothing I really mind all that much. Reflect damage. Awesome little uh, hidden Fire Knight champ right there. Good healer, and the reflect damage can help you out a lot if you're struggling for Fire Knight. Adele, right? Adele? Something like that. Excellent champ. Um, not the Banner Lords, the Sacred Order. So, if you pull her and you're struggling on Fire Knight, she just helped you out quite a bit. This one we might be able to, it all depends. All depends how well they built their Lego. I'm hoping poorly. I love it when a decreased defense is also a slam of a move. Ooh. Get him! Nice. Hopefully this will yeah. Otherwise, I'd look like a fool. Look like a fool. All right. Counterattacker, reviver. Decreased crit rate, dude. Beast fodder. Excellent champion. A lot of people are sleeping on this guy. He just kind of snuck in with a new champ group and then just kind of sits in a lot of people accounts. Just kind of chilling, biding his time, feeding his beast. If I was a bigger content creator, perhaps I'd be sponsored by like G Fuel or something like that, and I'd be like, ah, feed your beast with G Fuel. Um, and calling out uh, Norberg from the, the Discord, I know I promised a green screen back here, um, but there's a shelf, actually that way, that uh, apparently doesn't let my green screen come down, so I have to figure out a way to cut a hole in that shelf that doesn't make it look like trash, and then we'll have a green screen behind me. So that is the hold up with the green screen. I was supposed to have it last Friday and now I'm not sure I'll have it until maybe next Friday. Um, so yeah, just gotta do a little carpentry work and then we're good to go. All right, lunatic, boom. Oh yeah, popping through it, no problem whatsoever. There's our five. Let's look at the new little, <laughs> well that's a doozy, little gift. Little gift from another player. I thank you so much for doing that. It's not a bad way to farm arena. Wow, that's a lot of gifts. You know, if you're looking for weaker teams, you put a weak defense that used to have a huge effect on the algorithm. I don't know if it does now with the update. I haven't tried it. 
but I know I ran a single RB defense for a long time in gold four just to get easier teams to kind of farm the metals. Pretty easy little tactic. It also works in the tag team, obviously. Um, again, with the update, things may have changed. It might not be the best tactic. It may not still work. But if it does, it does kind of give you a few more teams you can actually whoop on a little bit. Um, just remember to change your defense back when you're not looking for teams. You know, because uh, they will stomp all over and you will drop medals like crazy. Just a heads up. Anyone excited for the ability to set priority on stuff? I am. Looking forward to that. I mean, that's a game changer. There's so many things you can do now. So many things in this game you can do when you can set priority on what they do. I mean, I, what can you set like the first two or three moves they do? And then I think you can set a preferential one. Like, hey, always prefer to use your 8-2 instead of your 8-3 or something like that. I read it a few days back and kind of just forgot. But either way, it's just knowing that you'd be like, hey, do this, then this, then this. Some other champions are going to come out of the vault. There are some champions out there that they're just wonky in the way they do stuff. They're all broke. They don't use the right move at the right time. But now, game changer. Some of those champions you're sitting on going, oh, everyone, all the content creators say this champion's trash. Well, it may have been because of their AI. So be on the lookout for some new videos showing some champions that have just renewed value at like an alarmingly high level because of the ability to kind of tell the champion... Hey, don't, don't do that. That move you think is so groovy, it's kind of trashy. So that's a really exciting thing to do. Plus, we could screw up so many things. So many things. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom. You notice the time jump over here if you're super observant. Pause it and snuck away for a sec. It's getting a little parched. All right. Drop the hammer. Boom! Ooh, nice. Got that new kit. Mm hmm. I like this champion. I just pulled him. I'm actually probably going to do a video on him at some point. Or if it just turns out he's me, then I'll just play around with him and put him back in the vault. Put your toys away. If you're not playing with him, you got to put them toys away. That's a nice start to the arena, huh? Nice little cheapy team. All right. Boom. Oh, yeah. Gonzo. Climbing quick. Maybe this team. Maybe. Had to get a new oven today for the restaurant. The old oven is finally kind of coming to its end. I'm kind of stuck with a problem with the uh, old oven. I... <laughs> It doesn't fit through the door. And it's not like a close thing, like it's six inches, like you take off the frame or something like that and kind of wiggle her through. It's uh, it's missing by about a foot and a half. Which begs the question, I don't know how they got it in there. When I took over this restaurant, it was already in the kitchen, but yeah. Not, not sure how to get that thing out. So I don't really want to have to cut it. I may end up just building a corner in my kitchen and just kind of shoving it in there. Turning it off, unplugging it, giving it the deep clean, and just kind of saying, okay. Ugh. Especially because we're supposed to move locations in a, a year or two, just down the street a little bit. I don't know if we'll have to abandon the oven. But we'll see. We will see. All right, here we go. Nice little run here. Yeah, I'd say Arena's a lot easier than it used to be. Get them. Yeah, all three. Yeah, that's big time. Big time. Because I was working on a champ the other day, uh, Otatsu. Was it Otatsu? No, Tarshon. Tarshon, one of the new Demon Spawn champions. He uses his A3, which is a buff and uh, turn meter boost. 
over his A2, which is a weaken. And if you pair him with a defense down champ, like uh, I had him with Fodbor, or you could put him with, uh, should go with this team, see what we can do. Um, you know, War Main or anything like that, you get that defense down and weaken. Problem is, they don't sync up. Because you'd want them to be like one after the other. So, because he does a massive amount of damage, you want your defense down champ to go, and then he goes with his decrease weaken. Now you can actually say, hey, preferential treatment, A2. Now he's going to do that, and then he can do his boost later. That way you can always cycle back to that, so you always have your defense down champ going, and then boom, he slams him and puts the weaken on. It's going to make him a heck of a lot better champion for anyone who's, who's pulled him, got him, trying to do anything like that. Just massive increase in value. Bonk. All right, here we go. Going down, buddy. Going down. Maybe not. Soon. At some point in time. There it is. Yeah, we're getting some medals now. <sighs> okay. Silver Drakes. Healer. Defense. Person, yeah, we're not going at the all gold, all star team. This is an interesting one. Interesting team you got here. The Vizier is nice, but it's this debuff spread you want. Who's their debuff champion here? I don't see anybody. I'm thinking, oh wow, that's the massive debuff champ. That guy right there. Mr. Debuff. Let me go check the door here. Nobody at the door. All right. Put the leech on the guy who's going to live the longest. That way we can top up our health when we need to. I always hate it when the leech gets placed on a champion that dies with the next shot. It's like, oh, that's super convenient. Thanks, bro. All right. Keep it going? No. Don't really need any health right now. Maybe we'll just try and wear down their reviver. Get the knockout. Oh! This should do it though. Yeah. Get that tip top speed going. Big slam. Stunner. There's that debuff we're all looking for. Take him out of the game. Vizier's down. Alright, I think we got this one. Got this one pretty well. Gonzo. Auto for the win. Worst case scenario, what he goes and puts his veil on. Nope, not gonna do that with the provoke. Boom. Toast. Alright. Four minutes. Let's just do this one. Let's take a look at it, you know? Why not? Why not? Just because they have the Legos doesn't mean they built the Legos. This Contessa, she has a ma if it's Contessa, not Hope, she has a massively strong hit. I think it's her A2 can just smack super hard. Um, again, if built right, gotta love how you have to always say that kind of stuff. If built right, I guess you could also say the inverse. If built wrong, hits like a wet noodle. Yeah, might as well just start working on the reviver slash healer here. There's that ally protect that's a pain. But this should still kill her, I think. Yeah. Now we can work on uh, getting Trillix Ilxador, whatever his name is over there. Man, I don't know. Tyrant. Something, 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 something. Adore. Alright, we got it.
We got it. So yeah, there's some more gold in there. But it's looking like the gold isn't built like it used to be. You know, like these, these golden teams are not crazy. I'm not sure I want to, you know, fully flesh out that theory and go at like this team that we have up here in the, in the top of the list, which you'll see in just one second. Like, I, I, yeah. You know what? Screw it. There's no fear. Let's do it. Maybe they're trash. Maybe someone just leveled them up and ascended them. It's been all that time and then, you know, put them with five star gear. You know, because that's what you do. Five star unleveled gear. <laughs> right? That's probably what happened. I mean, that's the only thing that makes any kind of sense around here. Ooh, got them all. I was kind of doing tongue and cheek there, but now I'm kind of just looking like a jerk. I got nobody who can revive. And he's a powerhouse of an HP monster, but holy cow, they are. This, yeah, this was poorly built. It's got to be. If, if there ever was a bot team, I would accuse something of being a bot team. This one kind of has that feel because they were all 60 because they were all ascended and then they're built like like I said earlier wet noodles like none of these guys were intimidating at all we just mopped the floor with them with an average epic based team so I'm not not overly thrilled with this win I mean I'll take it don't get me wrong let's not be crazy but this is a great place to end anyways thank you so much for watching we'll be getting a little bit more regular in these videos um, I just wanted to focus on champions during the clan vs clan event um, Anyways, we've got more of those coming out as well. Plus, we have new champions coming pretty much every single month in this game. So, a lot of content to get through. Um, don't forget to open your prize. you got four days to get that prize and go ahead and pop it open. Um, and enjoy the rest of your week and have a good day. Thumbs up. Later. Later.